so what are let's give like you see like in numerology what is done you find the number lord right destiny number what, what is called destiny number fortune number whatever you find the lord and then you find other things in correspondence to it the same thing i will recommend you you do with respect to weekday lord you find a weekday lord you know the planets right you know sunday sun moon jupiter Mer mars are friendly towards each other and they are inimical towards venus mercury and saturn who are friendly towards each other but inimical towards the first set right so you say if someone right if someone is born on a particular weekday their nature behavior character etc is according to the weekday lord now you go to lagna lord there is a particular ascendant suppose any person who is born in taurus libra gemini virgo aquarius or capricorn ascendant belongs from set 2 the set of mercury saturn and venus for these people the weekdays of set 1 sunday monday tuesday thursday is generally not good standard astrological principle it is works very well and a finer form of weekday is hora right i have discussed more about, i have discussed about hora in a separate video as well the subtler form of the more powerful form of weekday is hora right lord of the year is powerful twice powerful than lord of the year is lord of the month twice powerful than lord of the month is the lord of the day and four times powerful than lord of the day is lord of hora right so most importantly for such people the hora of sun moon jupiter mars is not good on the other hand people born in leo cancer aries scorpio pisces sagittarius ascendants they are born in set one so for them friday saturday wednesday days are not good and the hora of venus mercury and saturn is not good right this have to be kept in mind and whenever you want to do something on a particular day or in a particular hora you should keep in mind whether the hora is beneficial for you or not you will do anything keeping this hora and weekday in mind success will be there right so applying for a job doing something new starting an organization house entry anything keep the hora into consideration and as you will keep the hora into consideration you will understand that success is at your you know on your side right so this is the basic thing that i always teach that you see there can be a bad combination in horoscope and bad things can be there in the horoscope that is there no issues into that no problem the remedy the astrological remedy is good muhurt right so no matter even if the even if you know 10th house 10th lord is afflicted even if the professional uh, you know factors in horoscope are weak and afflicted does not matter if one chooses good hora to do professional things take professional decisions the result will be good only so keep this in mind and use it for your benefit that is setup number 1 now see what happens with weekday lord weekday lord has fire right you see we see agni vas before we do a fire sacrifice before we do a homa we see agni vas this agni vas is dependent on weekday right you say weekday changes with sunrise vedic astrology weekday changes with sunrise sun is fireball right so because sun changes the weekday and sun is fire weekday indicates fire right weekday have the power of fire fire gives teja influence what you can say influence affluence whatever you say this is given by fire fire is represented by the weekday right so weekday lord have the fire this fire translates to success in life what i have seen if the weekday lord is powerful in horoscope then the person is successful easily successful i am not saying that if the weekday lord is not powerful person cannot be successful but then success does not come easy the person have to do a lot of hard work for the success when weekday lord is powerful person is very easily successful in life even with less efforts so success you have to see weekday lord you have to see first otherwise you cannot see it properly that is one thing because weekday indicates a success and weekday have the power of 
fire if the vigde lord the planet is connected to ascendant or ascendant lord this fire this success converts into raj yoga raj yoga is what person have good professional and social status person have many servants multiple resources the person is having so when the vigde lord is powerful the person is successful the person have fire the person have zeal the person have capacity person have affluence person have authority and when this vigde lord is connected to lagna or lagna lord preferably a positive connection then it will indicate that person have great raj yoga as well this is another point right this also makes the vigde lord very important right this you have to understand you see because ascendant is also the fire principle right ascendant what is the first ascendant for the day it is the rashi and the degree where the sun is there in right so ascendant is also the fire principle vigde is also the fire principle right so both of them like one can see the horoscope from ascendant in the same manner one can read the horoscope from the vigde lord as well whichever house the vigde lord is situated in you start reading the horoscope from that particular house and what you will see that you are able to see a lot of great results right many results many hidden results that you cannot find from the ascendant if you just rotate the horoscope from vigde lord the results you can very easily see for example let's take a horoscope to explain it to you say mukesh ambani mukesh ambani ji is born on friday right now from the ascendant also certainly i am not saying there are no dhan yogas from the ascendant certainly dhan yogas are from the ascendant as well right but because he is born on a friday if you rotate the horoscope from where venus is situated in if the rotate the if you rotate the horoscope from aries what do you see lagna lord is situated in second house second lord is situated in ascendant this will make a good exchange between lagna and second house which indicates dhan yoga which indicates wealth combination so certainly that is there then you will see 11th lord that is saturn is going into 8th house not a very good situation as such right but it is under mutual aspect of the lagna lord lagna lord and 11th lord connected with each other makes dhan yoga that is particularly there now you see he have three children now if you see it from the ascendant it is okay you can see the three children the fifth lord is retrograde retrograde indicates three children from the position of the venus also you will see what you will find that jupiter is there in the uh, third house jupiter is there in the fifth house retrograde indicates three children the fifth lord is exalted that also indicates three children particularly the fifth lord being exalted from the vigde lord also indicates that his children will do good seventh lord will come into ascendant when you rotate the horoscope from the position of venus which will tell that marital life is good wife is dedicated devoted to the native so on and so forth in this way you can take the house where the vigde lord is situated in and can read the horoscope from the house itself if the vigde lord is situated in the lagna itself no change is needed otherwise you can do it this shows better results like i should not say this will indicate better result i should say that it indicates results which is not like which cannot be easily seen from the natal horoscope so you say sometimes what happen we become confused with respect to result with respect to a particular house we become confused related to result because we see equal good and bad results equal positive and malefic influence then how do we do we use such auxiliary principles such as rotating the horoscope from the house of the vigde lord to get more clarity on it this is one thing sometimes what also happen that we are dubious about the time of birth we do not know what is the time of birth of the native but we quickly have to make predictions then in that scenario see vigde lord will remain the same and until and unless the vigde lord is in 29 degree or 0 degree it is not going to change either so in this scenario you can just quickly rotate the horoscope from vigde lord or for someone for those you do not know the birth time you can just make the horoscope and rotate the horoscope from the vigde lord and you can read the result right now there will be a question that everyone born on the same day whether the same result will be there certainly not right the result will not be there but as i told you this is an auxiliary technique not a primary technique but used with 
combination to the birth ascendant this works very brilliantly independent users should only be done in the case of emergency but generally you use it with respect to the birth ascendant so you see a combination happening in horoscope from the ascendant and you see the same combination happening from the weekday lot superb the result is 100% going to happen the result will not be cancelled whether it is a good result or bad result and such result you can predict even with closed eyes because that is definitely going to happen right so auxiliary technique this is a very good auxiliary technique that you can use you should use it right this is particular things related to right weekday lord as well one more thing is there because weekday lord as i told you weekday lord gives the energy right weekday lord says weekday lord is fire gives the energy gives the power now this fire is what keeps people living right the body have a temperature that temperature is maintained as long as you're alive and as you die the temperature falls down the body becomes cold owing to this particular reason i have seen this the weekday lord also talks about health if the weekday lord is in a good condition if the weekday lord is powerful one is healthy if the weekday lord is weak and afflicted one is not healthy Right, so weekday lord is also very important in finding the health status of the native. You can quickly see the weekday lord and quickly predict the health of the native. Based on the house, Rashi and the planets connected to the weekday lord, health problems can also be found out. Right, so you say weekday lord is connected to Mercury. You can say skin problems etc. will be there, skin problems will be there. Connected to Saturn, nervous muscle related problems will be there. Connected to Mars. Uh, you know, bone marrow related problems will be there. Connected to moon, bone related issues, mind related issues can be there. Right, related to sun also, bone related issues, stomach related issues can be there. Related to Jupiter, stomach fat related issues can be there, so on and so forth, right. So, as per the Rashi and house and other planets connected to the weekday lord, a good prediction related to the health of the native can also be made. And most important, Funda, where weekday lords truly really shows its power is in timing of event. If you remember, I mentioned a particular formula. That formula was year lord is powerful. Month lord is twice powerful than the year lord. Weekday lord is twice powerful than the month lord. And Hora lord is four times powerful than the weekday lord. So, you see, there is a concept. When you go to mundane astrology, you predict how this year will be for the world. And to do that, you have to find the ruler of the year. Who is the ruler of the year? Vaidic astrology, the year changes when sun goes to Aries. Month changes when sun goes to the respective Rashi. The weekday when this happens, and remember Vaidic astrology, weekday is from sunrise to sunrise. The weekday when this happens, the weekday when sun is going to Aries is the lord of the year. The weekday when sun is going to the particular Rashi is the lord of the month. Based on this, the prediction for the mundane horoscope can be made and a prediction for the life of the native can also be made. If you ask me what is the simplest method of predicting events, this is the simplest method of predicting events. For example, let's take this particular year 2024. So 2024, April 2024, and 14th April 2024, sun have gone into Aries. Right. And I will just make it. You see, around 15... 3-7 in the afternoon on 14th April 2024, sun enters into Aries, that is a Sunday. This means to say for the year 2024 to 2025, sun is the lord of the year. Sometimes what people do, people will want to find the lord of the year by adding 2 plus 2 plus 4, which will be 8. Someone will say that lord of the year is Saturn. I ask you a question. See the Saturn in your horoscope. Do you think results related to Saturn happened in your life? You see, you tell me. Tell me in the comments. It does not happen, right? Vedic astrology we are practicing, we should use the Vedic astrological rule, right? This year, sun is the lord. Now check in your horoscope, how is sun? If sun is the seventh lord, marriage can happen for you. For people who are already married, this is a significant year. Otherwise, if it is seventh lord and you are already married, seventh lord takes on the role of Marak, health problems can be there. 
pain in the body is the result of the seventh lord that can be there if uh, son is the lord of the fifth house childbirth is there if son is the lord of the 10th house in a good situation son is positively connected to the 10th house professional success promotions etc will be there right so whatever result son is indicating that result is going to come in this year why because son is the lord of the year this we have to understand now this month you say november what result is going to happen in november now sun have entered into right now sun is into scorpio scorpio 7 degrees when sun entered scorpio sun entered scorpio on 17th of november 12:49 in the night it was on a saturday so lord of the month is saturn so this month the result of saturn is happening on this particular month result of the saturn is happening that you can check yourself whatever result saturn is indicating in your horoscope that is happening in your life so this is the importance of the weekday lord right weekday lord decides the lord of the year weekday lord decides the lord of the month and based on this only the event is supposed to happen so you say this year is ruled by sun and sun is indicating childbirth for the native so this year childbirth is supposed to happen now when the childbirth will happen you see what are the other planets indicating childbirth in the horoscope when the month will be ruled by those other planets there will be high probability of childbirth or conception whatever the case may be right so this is where it is very important to time events and it works very fabulously you use it now you have understood this point what other point comes out of it if the weekday lord is so very important in timing mundane events is it not important in timing private events for example you say for mukesh ambani ji this particular year if you just use vimshatri dasha right now for vimshatri dasha from moon rahu dasha is running from 2001 right 2nd of september 2001 rahu sorry rahu dasha got over extremely sorry from 3rd of september 2019 jupiter dasha is running what will be the result of jupiter that you can explain that you can see in horoscope jupiter is situated in the 11th house it should give gains right it is the third lord in the 11th house so whatever effort he will do that will also give gains to him it is sixth lord in the 11th house right he is going to win through litigations fights etc as well all of these things are there but because weekday lord is very important you should check what day was 3rd of september 2019 right click entry chart for this period you get the entry chart of the period and in this entry chart you have the vedic weekday written that vedic weekday is tuesday so dasha changed on tuesday so you can say you should say that tuesday it have changed mars is the lord of the mars is the king of the dasha though dasha ruler is and sorry the shah ruler is jupiter so jupiter is the king of the shah but mars is also very prominent right so whatever result mars is indicating in the horoscope that result will also come now in the horoscope mars is second lord influencing the second house for finances it is good but it is seventh lord in eighth house not a very good setup as such let's not predict about it but i am saying that whatever result mars is indicating in the horoscope that result will also come to pass right so thumb rule will be that check the weekday when the dasha is changing and as per the condition of the weekday lord the result of dasha will be influenced by a great extent in the same line in the same line there is something you know in transit there is something known as vahana vichar paya vichar what you say the planet is trans uh, the planet is riding which animal or the planet is in which paya this is generally done with respect to saturn right but can be done with respect to any planet you say a particular transit is happening right for example say right now this uh, jupiter is into taurus 23 degree it will soon go into gemini what will be the result of jupiter in gemini this is very superior technique jupiter is going into gemini on 18th of may 2025 it will be sunday so this transit is ruled by sun and whatever result jupiter is going to give in gemini that result is greatly influenced by sun you see the speciality with this technique i will tell you jupiter going to gemini is not happening first time for people suppose a person is 30 years of age more than 30 years of age so jupiter is going into gemini third time right third time 36 years of age person is suppose jupiter will go into gemini for third time right 12 years per rashi right so what is the difference between jupiter going to gemini first time jupiter going to gemini second time jupiter going to gemini third time there should be some difference 
this time when jupiter goes into gemini it is giving more results of sun so whatever sun is indicating in your horoscope that result will be activated by jupiter going into gemini certainly this point will be there gemini is which house from your ascendant gemini is which house from your moon is there any planet in gemini will uh, jupiter be transiting over some other planet all of these things will impact but whatever result is going to happen the result of sun will also be there why because when jupiter is going into gemini it is a sunday same thing you take with saturn also right now saturn is into aquarius 17 degree saturn will change the rashi saturn will go into pisces on 4th april 2025 saturn will go into pisces it will be a friday so what result saturn will give whatever Venus is indicating in your horoscope. You do not have to see transit Venus for it. You check your natal horoscope. You see which houses Venus is indicating, where Venus is situated in, what yoga is Venus is making. Based on that, you will decide the result that, we, that this Saturn transit is giving. This is a very superior technique to differentiate when Saturn is coming to the Rashi for the first time, when it is coming for the second time, when it is coming for the third time. What is the difference in all of these transits, right? This Particularly, this is so very important that I will say that any other principle of transit, it may not give the result. Or in other words, I will say that this principle will supersede all other principle of transit. You use it and once you use it three, four times, you will also be a fan of this technique like I am. That's why I have told you this, right? So use it and it will be very good.